Hi friends, it's Mary Beth from Mary Berry Studio. Today we are going to be planning for the month of June. This month I decided to go with a pond slash froggy theme because I thought it would be perfect for June because it's just starting to get really hot and humid over here in the US, especially on the East Coast. I also made this brand new frog sticker sheet to go with the theme because I was just really excited for the chance to draw frogs because they are just so darn cute. <laughs> If you're interested in this sticker sheet, it is actually already up in my shop, maryberrystudio.com. So if you want to check it out, it is up there. I am also happy to share that this video is sponsored by PDF Element. PDF Element is a PDF editor software that allows you to edit, annotate, and convert PDFs into other document forms. If you're looking to bullet journal or take your school notes completely digital, definitely check out PDF Element because it makes it super easy to do so. Here I'm showing you how you can make a weekly spread on the program using a free printable I found off the interwebs. PDF Element allows you to write all over the document and you can even change the text on the original printable, which is absolutely insane to me. <laughs> PDF Element has a bunch of customization tools such as adding photos, as you can see I added a little froggy in the corner, adding shapes, highlighting, commenting, and even changing the background colors of the document. Also, if you're a student, you can upload your textbook or educator's lectures right onto PDF Element so you can directly highlight and annotate the text. If you want to learn more about PDF Element, you can check the links down below in the description box as well as a link for 70% off your purchase of the program. I want to thank PDF Element for sponsoring this video as well as thank you guys for allowing me to do things such as sponsorships because it helps me fund the absolute mountain that is called nursing school tuition. <laughs> Alright, so diving back into the video, as usual, I gathered all these free use photos of ponds, koi fish, frogs, lotus flowers, swans, anything you name it. I also forgot to mention that the little koi fish sticker sheet that you might see in the bottom right hand corner of this video frame is from Planning with Kay. Creates really cute stickers and I recommend you check them out. I also gathered these washi tapes from my collection, which is of swans and some florals that I thought would go well with the colors of the photos. I don't really have a technique for laying down the photos as well as the washi tape. I know I do like to start by putting a photo in the top left hand corner and building off of it. I did that here in this spread and then I built off of the first photo by putting the little koi fish picture right underneath of it and it just, oh, it reminds me of how badly I want to have a koi fish pond in the future. Koi fish are just so cute and their little mouths are always opening and they just want food all the time and they're just... They're so relaxing to watch. I love them and they get so big. Ah, they're so pretty. And I just, I just love pond aesthetic, like the greenery and the water and trickling water. And it's like my happy place. I love it. So another tip that I have for my kind of type of bullet journaling, which I guess I would describe as like scrapbooky and maximalist and very busy spreads is I look to see what open area I have in my notebook because that's where I'm going to be writing so I don't want to have like a weird shape of where my words are going to go because having them wrap all around the page can get a little bit confusing and look a little bit disjointed so at, when I added that little koi fish in the bottom right, I kind of created a square type of area, which is perfect for writing out something because it's not going to look too weird. It's going to look like more organized, if that makes any sense. Another example of what I mean is when I put those two photos up in the top left hand corner, the way I laid them down, I create a empty space like an empty square in the top right of the page where I'm writing June right now. And I also created an empty space in the bottom left where I put the froggy stickers. So when I laid them down, I was like, okay, I'm creating a nice little square in the right and the left. And I can either put a quote or write out the header of June, or I can fill it in with stickers. So I, my spreads are chaotic, but they're organized chaotic. There's a method to my madness. All right, so now I'm filling in that little rectangle space I was talking about with my monthly goals. And then I proceeded to laugh because I wrote down monthly gas. And that's just how it ended up because I was writing out the pink portion first and then following up with the green. But I had to laugh like I was a little middle school boy, so. <laughs> so my monthly goals for June are going to be to review anatomy and physiology because I am attending graduate school 
nursing school, graduate nursing school in the fall. And I know I need a refresher on physiology. I don't want to get too bogged down by basic things. I want to be on top of it when I start school so I can kind of hit the ground running. I also want to do a small shop update for my shop, release the froggy stickers as well as a few other sticker sheets that I have that I released on Patreon, but not quite for everyone else. I do release my stickers first to my patrons over on Patreon, so if you want to get stickers before they hit my shop, be sure to check out my Patreon. It's a great way to support your favorite creators. I do have like a lot of stickers backlogged on Patreon right now that I haven't brought to my shop, so I have to do that. I also desperately need to go through my closet because I just have a lot of clothes that I don't really wear anymore, so it's better off to donate them than just have them sitting in my closet. Basically, I just need to get on board with this whole quarantine spring cleaning thing that everyone's been doing. I'm also so sad because I think like flea market and yard sale season is not going to be happening anymore because of the current situations, but I'm hopeful that maybe the end of summer that people might be having yard sales because I love me a good deal. <laughs> Plus, it's just really fun looking around to see what everyone has and seeing what kind of person they are through the stuff that they're selling. It's just, it's fun. I love it. And I hope that, I hope that it's, it happens this year. You guys might have also noticed that I'm trying a different monthly calendar log this month. I'm going with more of a calendar look, I guess you would call it, but I'm doing these little multicolored squares with green, blue, and pink and I have them alternating, which is going to prove to be a huge challenge because I messed up a lot. <laughs> I think I mess up right about this next square I mess up. Yep, I wrecked the pattern and I got very sad. But the way that I fix it is I go to the back of my notebook and I cut out a little, I guess you call it like a band-aid kind of thing. And then I layer this bandage right over top of where it would align with the grid or if you have a dot grid line it up, tape it in, you can barely tell that something happened. I use it all the time, you'll see it in my other spreads, it works really well, like, look at that! It looks good! And then, I'm gonna go over top of it anyway, so then you really can't see it, so. Good tip! I also didn't mention that I didn't include Sunday in this calendar, and the reason is Honestly, it's because the moleskin is really tall and skinny, so I don't have a lot of space on the page. If you have like the large term or the Archer and Olive notebook, you probably can fit in Sunday, but I want to enforce breaks upon myself because being at home and being kind of self-employed, I don't know when to take a break and I'm really feeling the effects right now of like burnout because I haven't been taking any breaks and... Ah, <sighs> I don't know. So I'm hoping because I can't plan anything on Sundays because I'm not including it, that I'll I'll take a break on Sunday. I should probably probably take like two break days a week, but knowing me, I'm not gonna listen. <laughs> I'm very curious how you guys are doing though, because are you feeling the effects of like quarantine and not being around people? Like, do you feel like you have like quarantine mush brain? Because that's how I feel. And a lot of people are saying, or they started saying in the beginning of quarantine that this is the time to be productive and make things. And yeah, I, I think so too. But at the same time, like it's been pretty rough having a distorted schedule, I guess. I hope you guys are doing okay though, and I want to say a big congratulations to everyone that graduated recently or is about to graduate. You guys are awesome, and I'm proud of you, and I hope that you feel proud of your accomplishments. School is hard, and you guys done did it, and even if you didn't graduate and you guys did online classes, online classes are hard. They're not easy. Like, the deadlines don't feel real, and... Oh my goodness. I, I just hope that the fall semester or academic year is not online because it's going to be a nightmare. <laughs> I think things are going to get better though. I know they will. It's just going to take some time.
To end this video on a happy note, let me know down in the comments below some new hobbies that you've learned or want to learn. I'm going to pick three answers by random and send you guys some froggy stickers to enjoy and hopefully brighten up your day. I've been seeing a lot of people getting into rollerblading and making bread recently, so if that's you, let me know down below. I'm really happy with how this spread turned out. It's definitely got to be one of my favorites. I just really love the bright colors and the combo of green, blue, and pink. I think it looks really good. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, be sure to hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and ring the notification bell for future videos. If you want to support my work, be sure to check out maryberrystudio.com, which is my sticker shop, as well as check out my Patreon, where you can get printables and stickers mailed to your door every month. It's a great way to support, and you get cool stuff for it. So check it out. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video, which is probably going to be a studio vlog. So see you then. Bye, guys.